What is laboratory apparatus? Laboratory apparatus are the tools or equipment used to carry out and complete a lab work or test in the science lab or laboratory. There are several and we're going to look at each as we go along. Types of laboratory tools or apparatus. We have flop bottom flask, beaker, bunsen burner, dropper, forcep bottle, safety glasses, test tube rock, heat resistant, round bottom flask, beaker, tongue. Next we have evaporating dish, test tube, filter funnel, electronic balance, measuring cylinder, stamp and clamp, reagent bottle. All of these are laboratory apparatus that are used in the science lab or laboratory on a daily basis. Now we're looking at the functions of each apparatus. So the first one we have is a test tube or otherwise known as the boiling tube and it is used for holding small amounts of substances. It can also be used for heating depending on the experiment that is being carried out in the lab. Then we have the beaker. The beaker serves two purposes for holding different kinds of chemicals and for collecting liquids for example like water. Then we have the measuring cylinder. The measuring cylinder is for measuring the volume of liquid, the amount of space that liquid takes up. So here we have the round bottom flask and the flat bottom flask. Now both serve different purposes. The round bottom flask is used to prepare gases when process requires heating. So when heating is required, the round bottom flask is used to prepare the gases. But when heating is not required, the flat bottom flask is used instead to prepare gases. Now we have filter funnel, evaporating dish and electronic balance. So the filter funnel serves a purpose where it separates an insoluble solid from a liquid with the help of a filter paper. So for example, separating dirt from water. Then we have the evaporating dish where it serves for evaporating a liquid from a solution. Then we have electronic balance where it basically used for weighing. So it is used for weighing liquids or solids in a container. Reagent bottle for containing chemicals, both liquid or powder form. Test tube rocks for holding test tubes or for keeping the test tubes. It is also used for carrying the test tubes around inside of the lab. For example, you're working with more than one test tube. And then we have the stamp and clamp, which is for supporting apparatus during experiment. For example, supports the bonds and burner when it is being used in an experiment. Here we have the bonds and burner and the safety glasses. Now the Bunsen burner serves the purpose where it provides a flame for heating and whether it be luminous or luminous flame, both yellow and blue flame. So it provides either of the two for heating. Then we have the safety glasses. The safety glasses is used in the science lab or the laboratory for protection to protect our eyes while experimenting from any form of chemicals 
getting into the eyes which we know is not safe because it can lead to severe illnesses so now we're gonna look at pictures of apparatus we're gonna look at the different pictures of each laboratory tool that we just looked at that I just made mention of the first one is known as the beaker so as you can see the picture presenting the beaker then we have the Bunsen burner then we have the electronic balance and it looks like a blender bottom then we have the evaporating dish and definitely looks like a dish next we have the round bottom flask and as you can see the bottom of the flask is round as the word states round bottom flask then we have the flat bottom flask which is next beside it and as you can see the bottom is flat just as it says then we have the filter funnel and the filter funnel that is Use along with the filter paper when removing an insoluble substance and then we have the safety glasses and there are different different types of safety glasses that are used in the science lab now we have the measuring cylinder then we have the stand Clump. The standard clamp looks like a scale and then we have the test tube and you can see the test tube is in the test tube rock and then we have the test tube rock itself. So you see the little holes that are on the top and at the bottom where the test tube are put inside of. So those are some more pictures of some laboratory apparatus that are used in a science lab. Here we have the two final ones. We have the forceps, which looks like a scissors, but not a scissors, and it is used to take up small items. And then we have the dropper. The dropper is used to take up little amount of liquid and it is used to drop little drops of liquid for example like iodine so those are the final laboratory tools and we just looked at all the laboratory tools that are used in the laboratory or the science lab by a scientist a teacher or a lab instructor when they are carrying out a lab experiment.